let's see a question from differential equation with the help of this question we will learn how to solve simultaneous differential equation so this will use some idea of uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients as well so i hope you have studied that earlier so let's uh, proceed with this uh, problem what will uh, we do first of all for this particular question we know that our d is nothing but d by dt so we can further reduce this two equations to this will be d of x plus y equals to sin t and the second one will be d of y plus x equals to cos t you can name this as your equation number 1 and your equation number 2 now as uh, we used to do in linear uh, in linear equations just like x plus y equals to something and x uh, minus y equals to something like that how we used to solve we used to eliminate one of the variables so either you eliminate y or you eliminate x that's completely your choice in this question what i am doing is if i multiply and uh, first equation let's say or the second equation whatever you want i am multiplying the second equation by d it is not good to say that if we, we are multiplying with d we are operating second equation on d so that will become second equation will become first equation will remain as it is so dx plus y equals to sin t now if you operate second equation by d uh, it's just like saying that you are differentiating uh your second equation it's just like saying that because you are this d is basically you have written d by dt because d is d by dt of y okay and you are again operating with d so you are again differentiating okay so it's just like differentiating it once more okay so we are doing the same thing in this question we'll go uh, with this question a bit slowly so that you can understand it better so second equation will become d2 y plus dx this is basically dt by dx and d by uh, if you you will have to write this something like this d of cos t and when it comes to d of cos t that is basically d by dt of cos t that is derivative of cos t with respect to t so that will basically give you minus sin t so instead of writing d of cos t i am writing minus sin t here so i will write minus of sin t fine now if i add this two equations what i will get uh if i simply add or subtract because subtracting will do my thing subtract subtract that means sign change because if i subtract i will can easily cancel this and also uh i can uh, do one thing that uh, what is left with me the rhs uh, is going to become 2 sin t Okay. Now here, what is what are you left with? With in LHS, you are left with y minus d two y. Okay. So, in order to write it in a better way, what I am doing is multiplying both side by a minus sign. So I will get minus y plus d two y equals to minus two sine t. 
this is better now i can easily take uh, write this as d2 minus 1 operating on y equals to minus 2 sin this is better now i think you are familiar with uh, the steps uh, which will follow this because this is a simple equation which you have got what you will do next is find the auxiliary equation which will be m square minus 1 equals to 0 and you will say that m square is equal to 1 so m will be plus minus 1 isn't it now here you know that uh, the independent variable is t and the dependent variable is y so you need to keep that in mind so i can write my complementary function as c1 e power m1t plus c2 e power m2t because the roots are plus 1 and minus 1 Okay. and uh, this will uh, be my complementary function but the, for writing complete solution I also need particular integral so particular integral will be let's uh, do that here particular integral will be 1 upon d square minus 1 and that will operate on minus 2 sin t. Now I can take minus 2 out. What we do for sin t? That means sin ax. What we used to t, uh, do? We first find a. What is a here? What is with t? That is a. So that is 1. Square that. So 1 square is 1. And then finally we used to add a minus sign. So minus of a square. Now replace d square by that minus of a square. Replace d square by minus of a square. So what is your d square minus 1? If I replace that d square by minus 1 and I have another minus 1 and uh, you are uh, operating, you were operating on sin t because minus 2 I already took out. Now this is simple because this is uh, nothing but uh, minus 2 divided by minus 2 sin t. So particular integral you are getting as simply sin t. So what used to be my final solution that used to be cf plus pi. So my cf is c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t plus my pi which is sin t. Now in this question this uh, values are also given. First one is value of y at, at, at uh, t is t equals to 0 is 0. Value of x at t equals to 0 is 2. So we will use that. First I am using that for this problem uh, for this first equation. Let me name this equation as equation number 3. So if I put t equals to 0, I will get y as 0. So y equals to, let me come to the next page, y equals to c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t plus sin t c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t plus sin t it is saying that when you put t equals to 0 you should get y equals to 0 so if i put that y equals to 0 and t equals to 0 at the same time so c1 plus c2 plus uh, t equals to 0 sin 0 is 0 so you are getting c1 as minus c2. So this is another important observation that we are having. So if I want, I can name this as uh, equation. Let's leave that. No need to name this. This is an important thing which we will have to use. Now, moving ahead, 
we have got uh, this equation now if we put this c1 equals to minus c2 or rather c2 as minus c1 in equation of y so equation of y if you put that you can replace c2 by minus c1 in this equation obviously so y equals to c1 e power t plus instead of c2 i can write minus c1 so minus c1 e power minus t plus sin okay so this is another equation so equations will be formed now i have my y ready i will have to put this y where in this equation in equation number 2 if i put my y so put this y in equation number 2 so what it says d of y what is equation number 2 it is d of y plus x equals to cos t plus x equals to cos t d of y is basically d by dt of y so d by dt of y what is y c1 e power t minus c1 e power minus t plus sin t Plus x equals to cos t. Now differentiate it with respect to t, so you will get first uh, derivative of uh, e power t is e power t only. So first you will get c one e power t. Derivative of e power minus t. First of all, it will be e power minus t only. But because you have a coefficient of t as minus one, so you will divide that by minus one. So ultimately that is going to make it plus. So if I write it once only so simply this thing. okay now derivative of sin is uh, simply cos t plus this x equals to cos t i am uh, i can cancel this cos t out if i want uh, x from here that x is simply Minus c one e power t minus c one e power minus t. Okay. So again, for x, I have uh, been given certain values that the value of uh, if you put t as zero, x will become two. So if you put t as zero, x will become two. Minus c one. e power 0 is 1 uh, minus c1 e power minus 0 is again 1 so you are getting 2 equals to minus 2 times c1 so you are getting c1 as minus 1 so the moment you get c1 as minus 1 and you already have this equation so put c1 as minus 1 so you will get minus 1 equals to minus c2 so from here clearly you are getting c2 as 1 so you have got c1 and c2 values you can move to the equations of y and x and finally find the values so for y we have this equation so i can Finally, write y as so my y finally is c one e power t c one is uh, minus one so minus e power t plus c two e power minus t so plus one e power minus t. and with that i had sin t so plus sin t so this is my final value of y coming to x so my x was 
x was x uh, where did i find yes here you have x so x was minus c1 so minus c1 is 1 simply so you will get e power t simply and again a minus c1 so c1 is minus 1 so minus c1 is plus of 1 so plus e power minus t okay so x you are getting as e power t plus e power minus t y you are getting as minus of e power t plus of e power minus t plus sin t and this is your required solution so i started off with a simple uh, problem then also it was a bit lengthy but the main concepts uh, which you need to understand with the help of uh, this question was that uh, our d was d by dt that's fine you wrote uh, this in the form of capital d format then you eliminated either x you want to eliminate or y that's your completely your choice then you got a simple equation then uh, as you would solve it you solved uh, you got your uh, complementary function as c1 e power t plus c2 e power uh, minus t then you got uh, your particular integral as uh, uh, one up uh, one upon d square minus one operating on uh, minus uh, two sine t, and that gave you as sine t. Final solution was cf plus p i as always. So that was our final solution. Then we use the values. First we used the value in this equation. Value of uh, t was zero. Then y was also zero. So that simplified the equation for us. Then we find this uh, simpler equation we put that back in equation number 2 so that we get uh, another easy equation so we got the value of c1 and c2 and that's it we got the value of y and x which we require to find uh, as it said that find the value of y and x so i hope you understood this question thanks and have a very nice day